Wake up! Wake up from your dream and make your dream a reality. Wake up! Wake up and understand the significance of the purpose that you have within yourself. Understand that if it's something that you are truly ultimately seeking in your life, then you got to go after it. There are a lot of people that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. Now what you gonna do about it? How are you gonna go about doing the things that are necessary to get you where you need to be in your life? Everybody has a dream. But how much are you applying to that dream? How far are you pushing that dream? When are you gonna realize that the dream is not gonna work by itself? You're gonna realize that if you're not hungry enough then you are not gonna be able to satisfy the hunger that you have within yourself so if you're a dreamer sooner or later you're gonna have to wake up from that dream and while you're walking down that path concerning yourself about things that you may not be able to control at that moment focus on what you can control within yourself because there will come a time when while you're applying yourself and you're going after that dream this reality kicks in. BAM! And you get knocked down. And you get down and you're looking at the ground. The ground is not going to apologize to you. The people around you is not going to apologize to you. You got to have the ability to rise up and push yourself and believe in yourself and make that dream a reality. It hurts sometimes when you're in that dark place. I need you to hold on. I need you to hold on strong and don't give up. Make an impact in this world. Don't look at it as though it's something that you got to do temporary. Although we know that life is short. Like the many people in this world, they didn't realize that the next day they was going to be diagnosed with a cancer. They thought that tomorrow was going to be waiting for them and they did not wake up. But you are still living. Now what do you have to do? How are you going to move forward? How are you going to proceed your life? Life is not a game. Life is living. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. I need you to believe in every possibility that you have and understand that it is not over for you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you're feeling that you're going to be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. You had to experience some things that you did not understand. You had to experience some greatness. You had to experience some weaknesses. You had to experience things that no one could understand. But you are the one that has to be responsible to go through it. You were put on your back and you probably thought that you didn't have the ability to come back. But you did. Dawn is coming. The sun is going to rise and you will see the light within you. Don't you give up on life because once your life is over, you can't come back. Leave your mark. Help someone. Lift someone up when they're down. Be the strength for others when they're weak. And maybe when you are at the weakest point in your life, someone will lift you up. Because we all struggle. No one is immune to it. 
It is necessary that you struggle. It is necessary that you feel alone. It is necessary that you have to continue to go forward. Nothing can stop this because that light has already been there. That light is embedded in you. That light exists in you. What about the other people out here who can't walk? What about the people out there who can't talk? What about the people out there that are suffering from diseases they cannot be cured from? What about you? What are you gonna do about the life you have? How are you gonna live? How far are you gonna go? Run with greatness. Run with a full heart. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to hurt. You got to be willing to yell out. Whatever it takes, keep pushing forward. Your life is your life and you have the right to live it the best way you can. Sooner or later, we all got to punch that clock. So carry on and don't give up and don't give in and do the best that you can to have the right attitude to make your existence matter. Your existence it's not by accident. Your existence has so much meaning. Are you ready to take on the unknown? Are you prepared for it? You can't even understand in most cases how beautiful it is sometimes to not even know what's coming your way. Sometimes it's not necessary to know everything. Sometimes it's not necessary to understand everything. But are you ready? Are you ready to embrace the fact that someday life as you know it, life as I know it, will soon come to an end? Now, what are you gonna do about what you're doing with the life that you have right now? See, I talk about life because life is such a great thing. Life is such a beautiful thing. Life has so much university to it. It is unexplained to some people. It is unimaginable to some people. Sometimes you may even ask yourself, I don't even deserve this life. Sometimes you may even ask yourself, why am I suffering so much from this and that person over there is not suffering as much as I am? Ladies and gentlemen, life, your existence, is temporary. It won't last forever. And if you're sitting around wasting it, if you're sitting around being hateful, if you're sitting around being jealous, if you're letting things outside of your circle control your possibilities, your uniqueness, your qualities, your principles, who you really are inside, then what's gonna happen next? There will come a time when you leave this world and they're gonna put you in that hole and guess what ladies and gentlemen no one is gonna jump in that hole with you. No one is gonna jump in there with you and celebrate that death that you just experienced. Yes I know it may sound a little harsh. In fact it may even scare you. But you can't fake this. You can't hide from this. Life is short. 
And the only thing that's beautiful about it is that when you're living, you have strong possibilities. You have something that you can be doing to make it impactful for others to see. You can't stop. You can't stop living. You can't stop growing. You can't stop fighting. You have to understand that yesterday and today and tomorrow are in three different universes. And the only universe you exist in right now is the now, is this moment, is this reality. You can't fix anything that's already been broken. Some things can mend in time. And some things are better off left alone. There are a lot of negative people right now that exist in this world. And there are people that are gonna watch this video. There are people that are watching this video right now. There are people that are listening to this message right now. And yet, they'll still find something that is not making them happy. The greatest. Do you believe that? Do you really believe in you? Some people may not have that opportunity to believe in themselves. Because all their lives, many things has kept them down. The greatest. I am the greatest. The greatest of who you really are. Do you really know who you are? Can you identify yourself? Do you see yourself less? Or do you see yourself more? Do you ultimately believe in you? Or do you let others control what you are and what they think of you? This is not the time to look down on yourself. This is the time for you to look up, to see the greatest to see the greatness within you. Your creation has meaning. Something great brought you here. There was a purpose and there's a purpose now. And that purpose is great because you exist in it. Greatness is within you. Greatness is a part of you. But to be great, you got to believe in it. Since the day you were born, greatness was already there. When you had those hard times, greatness was already there. When nobody thought that you had what it took, greatness existed. Hold on to that greatness. Believe in that greatness. And give it everything you have within yourself. All you had to do is to continue to believe in it. Now being great doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be anything that's going to push you and challenge you. Because to be great at something you got to understand that there's something that has to be attached to it. Yes, there's going to be struggles. Yes, there's going to be misunderstandings. Yes, there's going to be bad times. But do you have the greatness within you to go through it? Do you have the fire to go further? Greatness. Do you believe in it? Do you understand what it really means for you? Sure, everybody wants to be great, but they don't want to work. Everybody wants to be great, they don't want to sacrifice. Everybody wants to be great, but they won't want to push. How much greatness do you have within you? How much greatness do you understand that is attached to you? 
Don't waste your time doubting yourself. Don't waste your time having less faith in yourself. Believe in something. Don't believe in nothing. Greatness is good for you. Greatness means something. Greatness has understanding. So what will you do? What will you do with your greatness? Do you feel that it's being arrogant? Do you feel that it's being overconfident? You have to have confidence to have greatness. You have to believe in it to have greatness. You have to know that no one is like you. Your greatness means something. Why can't you believe that? Why can't you understand that? Why can't you hold on to that? Instead of holding on to negativity and doubt and fear. Why can't you understand that your greatness is beautiful? Why can't you believe it? You let everyone else tell you that you're not good and you believe it. Instead of just realizing that my greatness means something. If you're a father, are you the greatest? If you're a mother, are you the greatest? If you work for an organization, are you the greatest? Do you honestly believe that you are great? Now that doesn't mean that you're better than someone. It means that you're greater within you. You have the right to hold on to your greatness. You have the right to believe in your greatness. Why can't you just understand that you have to be the one to take the steps that are necessary to be great? So if you're not willing to put yourself in that position, if you're not willing to put yourself in a position of being great, if you don't understand what greatness is, then greatness won't be waiting for you. And one thing you got to understand about greatness, just like success, it continues to grow. It continues to move. So if you're sitting around being miserable because you don't believe in yourself, then that's your situation that you got to dig yourself out of. Greatness is within you. And understand that it's yours. It doesn't belong to anyone else. Your greatness is yours. Just believe in it. And go after it. And hold on to it. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Can you see? Can you see through the darkness? Can you see what's around you? Can you feel the emptiness? Can you feel the loneliness? Darkness is upon you. Darkness surrounds you. The darkness is trying to bring you down. The darkness is trying to take everything from you. But yet, you continue to push forward. Can you see? Do you understand what it means? To stand alone, can you see the light? It builds you up. Even when you think you're weak, you have a way to be strong. This is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. Yes, darkness is upon you. But there will come a time the sun will shine. God is upon you now. Can you really see the light? Can you really understand the light within you? Your journey can be seen millions and millions of miles away because you traveled through the darkness. You fought through the darkness. You were down in the darkness. You cried in the darkness. You wandered in the darkness. It is time for you 
to welcome the light. This emptiness that you are feeling right now, it is only a temporary match, a temporary thing that is going on inside of you right now. It's only temporary, but it is necessary. It is necessary that you struggle. It is necessary that you feel alone. It is necessary that you have to continue to go forward. Nothing can stop this because that light has already been there. That light is embedded in you. That light exists in you. Dawn is coming. The sun is going to rise and you will see the light within you. Build yourself up. Strengthen your mind. Strengthen your body. Strengthen your soul. And welcome the dawn. Darkness exists at this moment in your life. You're feeling like there's nothing that you can do. You feel that you have no power. You feel that you have no strength. Yet, you are walking through darkness. Can you see? Can you really see through the darkness? You are wandering and you have no idea where to go. You are wandering and you have no one to turn to. Can you see? Can you see through the darkness? Can you feel your purpose? Nothing can stop your purpose. Nothing can stop what's meant for you. Nothing around you can stop what's already yours. Your destiny belongs to you. Do you feel it? Do you understand the purpose behind the darkness? It represents something. It serves a purpose. It's an unknown purpose that many of us never would understand. Can you see through the darkness? You travel down this path. You travel down this path of the unknown. And yet, you are afraid. You are afraid because you don't understand it. You are afraid because you feel empty. You are afraid because no one is there to help you. I would like to introduce you to the light. To the dawn. To the beauty. To the understanding. And knowing that this is the joy. This is the joy that you must embrace. This is the moment of happiness. Without any despair, without any rejections, but an understanding that you made it. That you made it this far. And no matter what circumstances come your way, the light, the dawn, is upon you. It shines on you. It shines on you because you deserve it. You deserve it because you put so much work in. You've been knocked down. You've been pushed aside. No one believed in you. They rejected you. They said you wasn't worthy. Negativity entered into your heart. And you believed it. But then Dawn showed up. Dawn showed up, the light showed up and said, take my hand 
walk with me let me show you the way let me show you how far you can go let me let you see the beauty within you can you see now with this beautiful bright light that surrounds you the glow around you can you really feel it not just on the outside but on the inside yes dawn is upon you the light is upon you you made it through the darkness and now the light shines upon you there are going to be many other struggles there are going to be many other challenges and yes darkness will come again but you built up something you built up a resistance you built up an opportunity within you you built up the strength that many others don't have so regardless of darkness regardless of light you keep your head up high and you keep moving forward don't quit don't give up on you don't give up on the best of you this is your time through the darkness you rose above it you understood what you had to do you didn't wait for anybody you didn't wait for anyone to rescue you you knew what had to be done and you did it this is the dawn this is what you've been chasing this is the happiness that you were seeking but it is up to you to continue the journey you can't stop the light is within you dawn is upon you it is a beautiful day it is an amazing day can you see you have to understand it has to be a unique mindset setting a goal and then going beyond it realizing that there's work to be done making sure that all of the strings are attached and make no mistake along the way now it's true that we all make mistakes and we will have many setbacks but there's always room for a comeback you got to go through it to get to it you got to understand that there are going to be many circumstances that will require your full undivided attention you got to go through it to get to it to understand this you must realize that you must humble yourself but yet be hungry enough to go after it with everything inside of you everything that is required depends on you having the mindset that regardless of anything that is around you that is surrounding you that is trying to drag you down you must have the mindset you must be strong you must be resilient you must be driven and you must be able to take whatever's coming at you if you stumble if you fall have the ability to get up but you can't depend on just your body to do the work 
you must understand that it's the mental fortitude that will get you through it all. So many people don't have this fortitude. They don't have this attitude. They have no faith in themselves. If you, you as the individual, can take the first step, then perhaps many more will follow. Now you don't have to wait for someone to take the steps for you. You must be willing to do it. There are many people right now that are waiting for someone to direct their path. But you are responsible for your own destiny, for your own mistakes, for this is a reality. And as long as you are living in this world, you must continue to go forward. There is no time to be wasting and waiting for something great to happen because your greatness is already there. It has always been planted within you. Now watch it grow. Water that seed right now and watch it grow. And as it grows, you shall grow in many opportunities in your life. Take the hurt sometimes. Take the setback sometimes. Even take the failures. But you don't have to accept it. You don't have to believe that this is all you are built for. You don't have to believe that this is all you are made for. For every setback, for every failure, for every mistake that you've made, it will turn you around and you will learn from it and you will grow from it. And you will continue down a path that many do not have the ability to do. This is what sets you apart. This is what makes you unique. And this will take you further than you've ever gone in your life. I highly recommend that you take a good look at yourself from the inside out and realize that you are not out of the fight, that you are born to win. Regardless of the circumstances, don't ever give up on you because you matter. And it is this time for you to realize that the mindset must be put in the right place because it's only so much time that you have. So don't waste it. Don't waste it on doubt. Don't waste it on negativity. Don't waste it on fear. Put all your effort into being the best individual, the best makeup of who you truly are inside. So keep it moving, be productive, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. When you are doing everything in your power to be the best makeup of yourself, it's always going to be an adversary that's going to try to take that away from you. Now the best way you can overcome this is having the faith. Now it doesn't matter what you believe in as long as it's something that's positive that's gonna get you through it. A lot of people don't have that ability to be strong. And I'm not talking about the physical aspect of strength. I'm literally talking about the mental and of course spiritual aspect of strength. Don't let pride confuse your tears. You got to let that out sometimes. You gotta let it go. When I lost my mom years ago, that was the hardest thing that I had to deal with. And to this day, I still think about that woman that gave me life. And I have my moments when I'm happy about the good times, but I also have my moments when she left this world. 
But that's just one thing. That's just one circumstance. There are many circumstances I could talk about. But I continue to move on. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're going to fall. And when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. But that ground is a hard surface. And I'm going to tell you something. It ain't going to move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up and you need to rise above it and you need to start moving. When you get knocked down, how long are you going to stay down? When you lose your job, when you lose that loved one, regardless if it's your husband, your wife, your child, whatever it is, do you have the ability to go through the hurt and the pain of that loss? Regardless of what you're going through, the best time you know that you are strong is when you're at the weakest point of your life. When you are so far down that hole, you looking up and you don't see no light, but yet you know there's an end to this darkness. That's when you'll find out just how strong you really are. This is a process and you have to hurt just a little bit so you can understand what it means to be strong. So don't give up on your hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Just keep moving forward. If you think that you're going through something so bad right now, wait until tomorrow if tomorrow comes for you. Look at the person next to you. Look at people all over the world if you ever come in contact with certain individuals. And ask yourself, are they going through a lot more than what I'm going through? Because honestly, there are always going to be people that are going through a lot more than you're going through right now. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world. And so do you. Self-discipline comes from within. It's a desire. It's being able to understand that you got to get the work in and you got to be willing to go further and harder than you've ever gone in your life. You can't depend on all of the mechanical things, the alarm clock, your cell phone, or sometimes even people. Sometimes it's just you. You got to be willing to wake up and be about your business on a daily basis. Let's just say, for example, you're the type of person that can't seem to get away from all of the cravings. You can't do this without this. You can't do this without that. You need your coffee. You can't stop eating chocolate. All of these things you keep saying that you can't do. Well, let me remind you, can't can never do anything for you in the first place. So discipline starts with you. You have to be willing to be hungry enough to understand that if this is something that you are truly going after, then work has to be applied. You can't make excuses. You can't ask for a pass. And you got to understand that you got to pay a toll to cross the bridge. And if you're not willing to do that, then these things that you are chasing, Sooner or later, it'll get further away from you and you won't even have the speed or the capacity to go after it the right way. So discipline is a foundation to life. Discipline is a foundation to the reality of things. And you have to make sure that you are in the right mind frame to go after it the right way. Not looking at things in a perspective way is not going to give you what you actually look for because your mind is not in the right place. If you're not hungry enough, you won't get enough. If you're not willing to work after it, then it's not going to happen for you in the first place. Success is not going to show up at your front door and knock on it and say, here I am. It's not coming to look for you. In fact, success is not thinking about you. Success is already doing its job. You got to be willing to do your job. Each and every day that you are breathing in this world, each and every day that you are doing something in this world, you should be focusing on getting better, not worse. You should be understanding that, hey, I can't be this same person on a day in, day out type of way. 
I have got to cut, I got to keep focusing and going further and going harder and going stronger and pushing myself until there's nothing else left to push for. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, but you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about. But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're gonna leave? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? How do we go on? How do we lead the next generation? Hate is not going to make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. But I guarantee you this, there is nobody in the world that can do you. When the time comes, what would you leave behind? What legacy will be left behind to remind others of your greatness, of your losses, of your victories, of your sorrows? This is a short life that we all have. And it's not easy. It's not easy living it every day. It's not easy to go through so many different circumstances, so many different challenges. It's not easy getting that pink slip, knowing that this may be your last day on your job. It's not easy knowing that you may lose your home because you got laid off your job. This type of pain and these different circumstances, many people are always gonna come back and say, well, that's life. We cannot blame life. It is not life that makes these challenges what they are today. It is the purpose. And purpose never lies. It will always tell you the truth. But while you exist in this world right now, I need you to hold on. I need you to hold on strong and don't give up. I need you to believe in every possibility that you have and understand that it is not over for you. I need you to understand life is always going to be good. You must climb that mountain. Doesn't matter how many times you fall, you must climb that mountain. You may slip a few times, 
but you must climb that mountain. If you're looking over your shoulder and worrying about who's behind you, how can you focus on what's going on at the top of the mountain? So you slip, so you fall, but are you breathing? Can you feel your heart beating? Are you alive? Then keep climbing. Don't be worrying about what you can't control, but you can control your emotions. You can control the fight in you. If you truly desire success in your life, then you got to go up the mountain. And every step that you go up, it gets a little steeper. It gets a little harder. Sometimes when it gets harder, you may feel that you can't carry on. Nobody's gonna save you. Nobody's gonna feel sorry for you right now. You are the last man or last woman standing at this moment. And the only way you can go up is you got to believe that you can go up that mountain. Every desire that you have within your heart, all your struggles, all your love, all your pain, all your hate, everything that puts you in a position that you are in right now, you're either gonna use it for the right reasons or it would destroy you and you will continue to be that bottom feeder. It's time to rise up now. It's time to find something within you. It's time to realize that you matter for something. It's time to realize that when you were born, something was connected to that body. Something was connected to your purpose. This is a reality check. As long as you're living, as long as you're breathing, you got work to do. So what are you gonna do? Feel sorry? Let it go. Your sorry ain't gonna get you up that mountain. Make excuses? Let it go. Your excuses is not gonna get you up that mountain. Everything that you have left, everything that's within you right now, you got to want it. Not just want it, but need to have it. And when you make it to the top, when you finally get there, don't look down and see how far you went. Just know you went far enough. And you know you got something else left to do. Every mountain deserves your presence. Every mountain deserves your attention. Don't think that the first mountain you climb and you made it to the top says that it's over for you. That doesn't mean that it's over. That means you got another mountain to climb. And when you climb that one, find another one to climb. You just keep moving. You keep moving strong. You keep being powerful. You keep being productive. Fight with everything you have. And don't give up. Make it to the top. And then go a little bit further. When you are doing everything in your power to be the best makeup of yourself, it's always going to be an adversary that's going to try to take that away from you. Now, the best way you can overcome this is having the faith. Now, it doesn't matter what you believe in as long as it's something that's positive that's going to get you through it. A lot of people don't have that ability to be strong. And I'm not talking about the physical aspect of strength. I'm literally talking about the mental and, of course, spiritual aspect of strength. Don't let pride confuse your tears. You got to let that out sometimes. You got to let it go. When I lost my mom years ago, that was the hardest thing that I had to deal with. And to this day, I still think about that woman that gave me life. And I have my moments when I'm happy about the good times, but I also have my moments when she left this world. But that's just one thing, that's just one circumstance. There are many circumstances I could talk about, but I continue to move on. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're gonna fall, and when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. 
But that ground is a hard surface. And I'm going to tell you something, it ain't going to move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up and you need to rise above it and you need to start moving. When you get knocked down, how long are you going to stay down? When you lose your job, when you lose that loved one, regardless if it's your husband, your wife, your child, whatever it is, do you have the ability to go through the hurt and the pain of that loss? Regardless of what you're going through, the best time you know that you are strong is when you're at the weakest point of your life. When you are so far down that hole, you looking up and you don't see no light, but yet you know there's an end to this darkness. That's when you'll find out just how strong you really are. This is a process and you have to hurt just a little bit so you can understand what it means to be strong. So don't give up on your hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Just keep moving forward. If you think that you're going through something so bad right now, wait until tomorrow if tomorrow comes for you. Look at the person next to you. Look at people all over the world if you ever come in contact with certain individuals and ask yourself, are they going through a lot more than what I'm going through? Because honestly, there are always going to be people that are going through a lot more than you're going through right now. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world. And so do you. Yes, the struggle continues. There are people right now that don't have jobs to go to. Families are being disrupted. People are going through so many different changes in their lives right now. But nevertheless, we must continue to carry on. The pain is real. The struggle is real. And so many people have given up on themselves. They have allowed things around them to put them in a position where they have no hope. But I'm here to let you know right now, you got to keep on holding on to hope and disconnect yourself from hopelessness. You got to keep holding on to faith. Now I speak about faith often because sometimes that's all you need. Yes, the struggle is real. But I'm here to let you know if you're struggling right now, you can go a little bit further. That struggle that you're dealing with right now is only going to build you up. Sure, you may feel like you're alone. Sure, you may feel torn down. But I assure you, you will get up again. There will come a time that things are going to get just a little bit better. But right now, we're all being tested. The circumstances that this world is going through right now, every individual is dealing with it at its own point in time. Somebody may be dealing with it a lot worse than you. Somebody is ready to end their life right now, but maybe you're not. Somebody just threw in the towel and said, I'm done with this. But I'm telling you right now, if you're still breathing at this moment, if you're still walking at this moment, if you have the ability to continue to move, keep moving. Look up. Keep that faith. Stay strong. I speak about strength because strength is good for you. But struggle is good for you too. You don't realize how strong you are until you're down. You don't realize how strong you are until you're at the weakest point in your life. This is when real, true strength flows and it gives you everything you need to be better the struggle is part of the life that we're all living you're not alone in the struggle you're not alone in these circumstances you're not the only one that doesn't have a job to go to you're not the only one that's dealing with something in the side of your home but you got to stop giving all of these things that are holding you down and putting your family in a situation and maybe even putting you in a situation where you can't carry on. These are the things that we are dealing with 
in our society today. We went all about our day before we got to this situation we're in today in our society. We went to work, we went on vacation, we enjoyed our lives. And even then there were people struggling. But now you're that person who is enjoying the good life. But look at you today. Now what do you do? Are you feeling really down right now? Perhaps. Are you feeling that you can't do the things that you used to do? Probably not. Do you really have that job that you used to go to right now waiting for you tomorrow? Perhaps you don't. Now what do you do? You're dependent on certain things to happen the way it's been happening. You were looking for the same path that you've always been looking for, but look at you today. Look at us today. Look at us as a people. Look around you. Think about where everybody's mindset is right now. We're not even able to connect anymore. So what do we do? We let all of these bad things put us down. We let all of these things put us in a position where we can't even be human anymore. Well, I'm going to let you know right now, you never stop being human. You're just a human that's going through circumstances. You never ever had to put yourself in a position where you had to give up. But these things that are happening in your life is trying to put you in a position where you want to give up. So these struggles that we are going through right now, this is that life. This is that time. And this is when you're going to have to figure out a way to build up that tenacity again. To get that grit. To get that understanding. To understand that right now is the time for you to be better than you was yesterday. And not hold on to the things that you cannot control. So if you are living today, then do something good. Keep that faith. Keep hoping. And stop turning your back on the best things in your life. Because there are some good things that are happening right now for you. You're breathing. You're alive. You're doing things right now and you're walking the walk right now. This is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to stop. Are you tired? Are you finished? Are you done? These are some of the things that I used to say to myself often. There were times when I just felt that I could not go on. I felt that there was nothing else left for me to give or do. I'd given up on myself. I'd given up on me. I was at the lowest of the lowest and I felt that I could not go on. I felt that there was nothing left for me to give of who I really was. Because when I got to a point when I felt so weak, I felt there was nothing else left for me to give. But then something happened. Something woke me up. Something made me realize that I had work to do. Nine years ago, to this day, I buried my mother. This amazing, incredible woman told me a long time ago, son, no matter what you do, make a difference in the world. Don't try to change it, but make a difference. And even during the course of making a difference, even up to the age that I am today, I find myself being drained, being tired. I find myself trying to be a good man, a good husband, a good father. And sometimes I'm tired. I don't feel I have the strength. I don't feel that I'm good enough. But I realize that that doesn't mean just because you don't think you're good enough doesn't mean you can't be good. Doesn't mean you can't be great. 
doesn't mean you can't carry on. Every battle that you fight in your life doesn't mean you're going to always win that battle. Because there are going to be many battles that you're going to have to fight. And every battle is not meant for you to win. Sometimes these battles are meant for you to learn. They're meant for you to grow. They're meant for you to understand that you can still keep moving as long as you believe. So yes, I get tired. You will get tired. Yes, you will question your abilities. Yes, you will start thinking to yourself that, hey, I'm not ready for this. The fact of the matter is when you were born, you were born and you were ready. If you made it this far, you were ready for something even greater. But when that weakness starts to show up, when your mind starts to play tricks on you and starts to lie to you and say you're not worthy, you have to understand that you got to take control of your thoughts and your mind and your process and your abilities. Because every test is either meant to be passed or meant to be failed. And you can't be in the business of failing every time you get put in a position where you're being challenged. Can you go on? Absolutely. Can you believe in yourself? You have no choice. But you got to make it happen. You got to believe in it. You got to understand that there's a process to everything and you got to trust it. And you got to stand on it. You may look at everybody else in the world and look at their success stories, but do you have any idea how they got there? Sometimes people get an opportunity and they go a little bit faster than you hope to go. But because they're moving a little bit faster and you may be moving a little bit slower, even if you're moving slow, just keep moving. What's meant for you is for you and no one can take that away from you. Somebody hears your cry. Somebody hears your voice. Somebody is listening to you. You are not alone. You have something. We all have some abilities. You got to go in the direction you want to go. But yes, it's going to challenge you. Yes, you're going to get tired. Yes, you're going to feel, can I do this? Do I have the strength to carry on? You have no choice but to carry on. Don't quit on your life. Don't quit on you. Push your mind and push your body. Find it. Search for it. Go after it. It ain't going to come after you. Find that reason. Find that purpose. One thing about purpose, it's beautiful. And it moves in so many different directions. And why is it existing? Why does it matter at this point? Because it matters to you. So if you're tired, find a way to get up. Find a way to find strength. There comes a point in your life that yes, you are going to get tired. You are going to get weak. And sometimes strength is not going to be right there for you. Then you got to go after that strength. You got to go after everything that it is that you are seeking in your life, my beautiful people. Understand it. Believe in it. Let no man or no woman put you down or put you under. Stand on what you believe in and move forward with a purpose, my beautiful people. Make it happen. If you're weak, find a way to be strong. Keep it moving and conduct your business.